What's up guys welcome back to roams for you. Today let's look at latest POCO OS 12.5.6 running on Xiaomi POCOPhone F1. By this time we all know that the ROMKT Pro project has been came to an end. The POCO OS is also comes out from VNKT who was behind ROMKT Pro. Without wasting any time let's quickly get into it. So build is based upon Android 11 based MIUI 12 which is pretty much smooth and stable at its first look. So first is first, let's quickly get into about phone session. The version is MIUI POCO OS 12.5.6 stable. When you come to all specs, the Android version is 11. Security patch coupled here is from 1st October 2021. Kernel coupled here is Genos R19 which is from OOF GAM. Moving forward under password and security the ROM does comes out with fingerprint, face unlock and more. The face unlock as well as fingerprint are working without any issue. Since the build is based upon MIUI there is also option for IR face unlock. When you come to privacy settings out of the box the ROM is not encrypted. Moving forward under wallpaper settings there is option for icon management. You will be able to manage your icon size from here. There is also different lock screen layout available which works without any issue. I haven't enabled AOD so I cannot access the AOD from here. So let's quickly get into settings and always on display and lock screen. From here you will be able to enable always on display. If you go to styles you will be able to select different kind of AOD styles from here. Whether it is analog or text you can select according to your need. All usual MIUI 12 AOD models are available here. The QS panel here is pretty much smooth and responsive. I didn't notice any jitters while opening or closing animations. By selecting edit you will be able to add more tiles into the list as well as removing it. The ROM does comes out with screen recorder and it is capable of recording internal audio and microphone at a time. Let's quickly enable the screen recorder and check how does it performs. Yes, after enabling screen recorder I didn't notice any major lags or jitters with app opening or closing animations. But one negative thing I noticed here is the screen recorder notification is not available. For enabling and disabling screen recorder you will have to access it via QS panel. When you come to recent menu the floating window option is available. You can select floating window and select any application you want to open within it. The option is working without any issue. Out of the box the ROM does comes out with MIUI stock cam and it is capable of doing all basic job. Photo, video, portrait are working without any issue. As far I checked slow motion is not working as expected. Which is a usual bug which we used to see under MIUI ports. Leaving that behind the camera application is capable of doing its job. I did try calling feature in this build and without any issue I was able to make call as well as receive calls. And it does comes out with and dialer does comes out with automatic call recording feature. Option is working without any issue. Let's quickly check the security side. The safety net is out of the box passing for this build. When you come to Google Play and settings, the Google Play protection is also present. When talking about benchmark, out of the box, under two scores 3 lakh 78,000 plus and geek bench scores for single core. 512 and multi-core 1987 which are not that much top notch scores for snapdragon 845 you are going to get a above average gaming experience in this build to understand more about performance i did do a 30 minute cpu throttling test the rom was managed to pull out 1,91,000 as its average gips value which is a decent of course but I did notice that after finishing benchmarking as well as CPU throttling test, font temperature did reach above 55 degrees Celsius, which clears that this room is really hot. 
Make sure you are giving a proper cooling method. Make sure you are giving a proper cooling method if you want to keep your font cool. I did notice that the Google Assistant is not working as I expected. I did try it multiple times but it was not responding at all. When you come to gaming side, under special features, the Chrome does come out with the latest game turbo. You will be able to switch in between balanced and performance profiles from here. Voice changer is available. As far I checked, the voice changer works without any issue. There are minor bugs noticed with Google Assistant as well as camera applications, maybe more. As far I tested, I didn't notice any major bugs. Without any doubt, if you are a gamer and your concern is performance, you can consider this ROM. So that's it guys, this is all about latest POCO OS 12.5.6 stable build running on Xiaomi POCOPhone F1. Hope this video was helpful to you. Like and trays are always appreciated. Subscribe if you are new here. Keep on watching the gameplay and I'll catch you in next one.